Well, we're on the road headed to Wyoming. This is gonna be a first for Marsha and I, hunting antelope in Wyoming. Now we've hunted antelope in Montana for years and been very successful, but when High Lonesome Outfitters said, hey, we've got some great pronghorns down here, why don't you come check them out? We were ready to go. The neat thing about this is it's not that far, less than six hours from our home, so we can load everybody up, head down to Wyoming, and see if we can get a pronghorn. I also drew a deer tag. Not sure what the deer situation is gonna be, but I'm gonna have that tag with me just in case. Just as soon as we got to Wyoming, we got changed into our hunting gear and hopped into our guide Bob's truck and off we went in search of antelope. Chad and Bob have spotted a nice sized buck. With several does moving in, the herd is getting larger. You know, Chad and Bob are very experienced antelope hunters and know exactly what to look for, but this buck just seemed to be an average one. With it being early on in the hunt and lots of pronghorns in the area, I knew what Wyoming had to offer. So I decided to hold out and see what else we could find. It sure was exciting finding all those antelope right off the bat. However, we did find where all the deer were hiding. With a tag in my pocket, it was tempting, but we didn't see a good enough buck, so it was back to looking for antelope. With the weather conditions worsening, Bob wanted to check where he knew the antelope liked to go and get out of the wind. He was right. That antelope was right where he thought. The buck looked good, so they decided to close in on him. When you're hunting out west, you got to be prepared for anything. First part of October, there's a snowstorm coming in. As you can see, it's been snowing already. We're supposed to get six to nine more inches tonight. These goofy antelope are moving down into the trees, so we've got one spotted that Bob spotted. We're going to try and move in on them, see if we can get close enough. I've never hunted antelope in the trees before. They're usually in the open, but do what we got to do. Yep. Okay, there he is. He's got a doe on him. I'm going to let him clear. Nope, that's a doe. Okay, ready? Yes! Man, did you hear that whop? <laughs> okay, hold on. I don't see him coming out. Man, that CPB apex, I can't even talk. I'm so cold. Good job, man. Oh, yeah, he's not coming out. Woo! That is awesome. The snow is coming down harder by the second. I am so glad that I got this antelope down hunting here in Wyoming. We're gonna check him out. Come on, Marsh and the boys. Oh, Walker Wyatt, hunting with our family. 
we made sure they had good gear. I'm so glad we stopped at the Cabela's on the way down. Got some good warm gear for this. This is crazy. With all that snow, we'd be easy to spot, so the boys and I hung back, but they were ready to go when they heard Daddy take his shot. He's over here, that's cottonwood right here. <clears throat> Never came out, so I know he dropped yeah, There he is, right yeah, there. There he is. Man, he's got snow building up on him. <laughs> oh, this is great. We're hunting down here with high lonesome outfitters, and we're down in Buffalo, Wyoming. He's got a beautiful animal. He's got really good mass. He's got nice prongs. He's got ivory tips. He curves back. Good goat. Yeah, not too bad. Especially in a snowstorm. <laughs> With the conditions, we can't it's, complain. <laughs> what day is it today? October 7, and we're hunting down here, and it's cold. And it's only supposed to get colder. They are saying in two days, it's going to get down to, what did you say, nine degrees? Nine degrees, yeah. Wow, so this is awesome. Hunting with the family, shoot straight TV. I've got my CDA Apex, and I'm using a 300 wind mag, that way if I get a chance to go after mule deer or whitetail, um, if not, it's great for antelope because it's supposed to be real windy and I needed something flat shooting in this wind. It's got the Conus Pro 3 to 9 by 40 scope on it. It's a great scope. The engraved reticles really make a, make a big difference on it and uh, this is great. I'm excited. Thank you for sharing this with me. Yeah, you can get a hold of us at High Lonesome dash outfitters.com it's on the web we got a nice website there got all our information on it phone numbers and everything you can give us a call or email us either way want to come hunt wyoming this guy to call this was a great hunt before the break i had the opportunity to take a nice pronghorn antelope in the snowstorm now let's see what marcia can do we're hunting with bob at high lonesome outfitters and he spotted a group of antelope out here because we've got a camera and it's open country, Marsha and I are gonna sneak in and see what's out there. Let's see if we can get a little closer to him and get a good look on him. Yeah, not sure if he's a good one, but things are awesome. up and moving though. That's so it. I'll follow you. Marsha and I took our time and stalked to within range of these antelope. So we got close enough to get a good look at them. We realized they were juvenile bucks and we would hold off to see what else we could get in on. Chad, stay low. He's hitting the siege right here. Go down. He just went over that little rise right there. I'll stay here with the boys. Okay. You guys go get him. All right. All right. Real quiet, we're gonna sneak in on All right. Here we go. Take a good shot, okay, I will. Here we go. When we walked back to the truck, Bob and the boys had already spotted another antelope. We were in pursuit. Pronghorn antelope are notoriously hard to hunt in open country. With their keen eyesight and their great speed, you have to move quick but stealthy to get into shooting range. These antelope were moving and that buck was staying right with those does. I was waiting for him to stop so I could take a clean shot. Marsha peers through her Kona scope and patiently waits for a shot as the buck walks along behind some of the does. You got him, you got him. He's going down. <laughs> got him! Yeah. Oh, look at him kicking the snow. <laughs> Good shot. Oh. He is already down, Marsha. Oh. oh, that was so exciting. This has been an incredible hunt. Waited for the weather to clear, then it cleared. Got an awesome shot, nice antelope. I think we better call in the boys. I'm telling you what, <laughs> this time of year hunting in the snow for antelope is crazy. Oh. Come on, boys! Come on! Bring him down, Bob! 
Walker and Wyatt were right there with me and couldn't wait to get a close look. Man, that's awesome. Come on, Bob, why don't you come in here? This is the man. That's right. Thank oh, you, Bob, man. for an awesome hunt. Man, we appreciate it. He oh. put us on this down here in Buffalo, Wyoming. Not only is it a great hunt, but we had great equipment. What gun were you using? Oh, man, buddy? I had the CVA Apex today, and it was awesome. She had that topped with a 3 to 10 Conus Pro scope, and she was shooting it in 7mm08. That's a great thing about this gun is it has interchangeable barrels. So right. whether muzzle loader or maybe you want to do a coyote hunt, one gun does it all. And uh, you it did, did it a today, great didn't it? job <laughs> on this antelope. Man, this is great. It's beautiful. Bob, if they want to come hunt Wyoming, and you want to come hunt Wyoming, oh, yeah. Bob, how do they get a hold of you? They can get a hold of us by our website. It's highlonesome-outfitters.com. We'd love to have you folks. We take take family people. We take father sons. I mean, groups of buddies, whatever, on these antelope hunts. It's, we have a lot of fun. Even husbands and wives. And not <laughs> only do you have great antelope, but you also do mule deer and white tail, and I understand some spring black bear and turkey combos. Now that's a real cool one. How awesome is that? Go turkey hunting and bear hunting. Anything else? No, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Can you tell I enjoy coming down here with Bob? Well, this has been a great hunt. And remember, take time with your family to enjoy God's great outdoors. See you next week.